Hello, boys and girls, my name is Otis T, and welcome back to another episode of the Nomadic Challenge. Uh, last time, uh, we spent quite a bit of time uh, in the village, which is just uh, over those uh, uh, sand dunes. Um, uh, but now we are back again on the water. Um, we need to squeeze our way through here. Come on. One more block on this side. Um, because uh, we are in the nomadic challenge and this basically means I want to explore the world uh, see all the nice terrain that's uh, out there and on the uh, other side this also implies that uh, I do not go branch mining fishing or uh, farming um, so that hinders uh, our prospect a bit when it comes to uh, to gearing up what i did manage so far is uh, in the village um, uh, we visited in the last episode um, we managed to get ourselves a feather falling four book and that will go on our boots but currently we are still naked so interesting jungle here um, I think it's more uh, interspersed with uh, dark oak trees as uh, I have seen previously um, but let's get out on this side and have a peek around the edge of the jungle on this side. There is a. Ooh. You have to look where you're walking in uh, in this world, as there can be quite some uh, uh, deep caves in here so currently I'm not interested in uh, in going down there um, but making it to the other side here ah oh, there is another village but uh, yeah that's that's the one uh, I have visited in episode two so um, ooh, and it's already getting night time again so let's camp for the night here and then we shall take another boat ride in this direction. Uh, where is my boat? There is my boat. Um, don't need the dirt. Um, as we cannot have or, or as we are on our nomadic way around here uh, we do not have a, a permanent residence okay seems to be a dead end so let's have a walk through the jungle it does not look to be as dense as other jungles i have seen um as we do not have a permanent residence 
uh, I have to uh, carry everything along with me. Um, so I have to be quite a bit uh, selective um, when it comes to uh, uh, what I want to keep. And potentially we have already come through here from the other side. So let's go in this direction, deeper into the jungle. There's some steep hills here up ahead. Let's try following this this river. And uh, one thing you can notice in, in this world is that uh, the rivers are way deeper than before. Previously, they have been quite shallow, just a few, a few blocks. Um, but now they're really going down uh, quite a bit, and that's probably to do with the uh, increased uh, uh, world height, uh, which allows more freedom when it comes to uh, to uh, space out uh, uh, terrain generation in the uh, in the uh, vertical dimension. So. I'm trying to find uh, an open sea, but I think over in this direction that's near where we spawned. So um, let's head off uh, through here. There's more river, more um, more jungle. Maybe over in this direction, uh, that's open sea. Maybe. It's not look like it, but it's definitely new terrain. As you can see uh, uh, on the lava there. And you now also have these uh, steep cliffs. Ooh, a waterfall over a, a partially drenched tr tree. That's, that's nice. Well, probably not for the tree. Hmm. We have here another uh, ruined portal. Have to be careful uh, with the uh, with the uh, lava, but there is a chest with useless stuff in it. So was not worth our time, but. You have to check out these things. We're still looking for uh, sunken treasures, upturned boats, non upturned boats, um, shall we go in this direction, yes. Over here, that looks like uh, more like a plain area. It's hills further back. There's another village. Let's check out the village. See if 
they have something that would be of use to us in our uh, quest to defeat the dragon. Oh, they have a few apples. Nice. A uh, bit uh, of bread. Um, more apples. An emerald. More bread. More apples. I also have potatoes. Okay, quite a few leather workers in here. Um, I'm more interested in the uh, emeralds. Ooh, cows. Um, cows are mainly interesting for the leather. So we can craft books. And of course we can uh, cook the meat. Um, How many? We have two letters, which means um, we need a bit of uh, paper. I think I still had some. So let's convert that and eat bit of bread and in here we have more bread more apples um, and then we can collect our steak steak is quite a good uh, nourishment source Okay, stonemason's hut and a few hay bales um, that we can use if we come across a farmer that has the wheat trade. I don't see too many uh, villages with a trade in this village. So let's get on with it and climb this uh, green hill. Uh, not sure this is still counted as planes. So even the planes are looking way more interesting in this version as previously uh, planes were a bit plain um, as they were mostly flat. There are more cows over here which we will harvest and then there is another village on the other side of uh, dip here. So days goes by fast, so let's have another sleep. Um, OK. 
Okay. I mean, with this approach, we also don't have to worry too much uh, about uh, uh, killing cows because we are not breeding cows. So we just move on, move on and find new cows. Um, let's collect all the coal because I think coal can be traded with uh, armors. And we want to trade up with armors uh, to get uh, us some good gear. There is some iron in here in the side. Let's get that. There's a dripstone cave down there. Um, what do, don't we need? Um, this. And melt the iron. Down there, it looks like a dripstone cave. Uh, so while uh, our iron is melting in here, uh, let's deal with this cow. Um, we probably also want to uh, uh, how about some more books yes that gets rid of the leather so inventory management is a bit of a pain here but um, uh, I say it's it's part of the challenge. Um, let's use up the fuel to uh, melt the uh, or cook the the meat. Up here we have quite a view, and we shall check out the the village over there momentarily. Um, Okay, managed to cook one beef. So let's head over to that village and see uh, if we can find something good. It's on quite a bit of a slope, I have to say. Sounds like there are some skellies around. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Let's go down there. Not fall. Um. Then let's try getting top of here. Rest of the village. Uh, hello, farmer. Uh, you have the wrong trade, sir. Have you changed your mind? No, not really. No? No. 
Wheat is what I want. Not carrot. Don't have any carrots. Also, don't have any potatoes. Nor beetroots. And of course, I don't want to trade uh, my uh, emeralds. Yes, that's that's battle. Um, so we will relieve you of a few more emeralds, and then. Head further up here through this gap. Ooh, that's that's quite the farming village. Three more farmers down there. Um, how do I get up here? Oh, come on. Uh, just a lonely hut up here. Is that all? And yeah, basically you're you're stranded even if you have a nice uh, uh, roof window. Okay. How do we get down here? Ooh. There's a zombie. Yeah, short work. Um, we have to find another way around here. Maybe if we go down on this side. We can find a way. Around through here. This is a passage through to the other side. Uh, yeah, it's to another side, but not the one I wanted but seeing that down there were mostly farmers um, I'm not so sure if we have to go around there um, you can always try to get at it from uh, this side This is looking nice, but I think that we'll have to wait for next episode. So hope you enjoyed this uh, exploring uh, episode and join me next time when we have a look at this uh, colorful mountain biome over there and hopefully make a bit more progress uh, towards gearing up so see you soon goodbye